My name is Vincent Chen. I'm a professor here at RLE, and I do research in networks. The word network can mean a number of things, from the very uh, basic transport that brings the information to my computer and my television, to actually the application that rides on it. I think they are interrelated as opposed to what people think that you just build a network and the application will take care of itself. When you are a network architect, you have to think through from the very low level components all the way to an architecture concept and make sure that the architecture can be built and it's actually the best use of the component. So my research has to do with thinking about what new technology can do in networks and improve its performance. If you walk into my lab, you'll see a, uh, quite a number of grad students and research staff. We would be either chatting and talking about new ideas, either on the board or actually thinking out loud with each other, or actually working uh, and thinking. And most of our work at this point in time is architecture oriented. It's like an architect's uh, our office, and we are jotting down ideas on pieces of paper and pencil and paper and uh, trying to validate them. If you think about creating new architecture, and the number of possibilities could be in the, uh, of the order of millions, if not zillions, and having theory to guide your choice of architecture is very important. It's actually the guidance system. Once you think about every one of these options and see if they violate some kind of theoretical fundamental principle, you can narrow down the options from millions or zillions into a few. And then you can actually ask yourself which one actually performs better. In the verification of the architecture, we have to do a lot of analysis, either analytical or actually using computer simulation. Uh, sometimes the computer can be very misleading. Uh, it is only as far as what you enter, and if you have the wrong assumptions, you'll get the wrong answer. So we always want to think through what the answer may look like before we even do computer simulations and, and work like that. When I actually teach a certain new subject to the students, I uh, am always uh, surprised by some of the questions from the students. They ask questions on uh, aspect of the problem that I've never thought about, and I would go back and think about it, and lo and behold, there's a new angle that I should be looking at. So this interaction the student actually is extremely satisfying. An MIT student being one of the best in the world actually asks very good questions, and I really enjoy interacting with them in this kind of way. Graduate students are my colleagues. I think by the time they're ready to do research, I share my ideas with them. In many cases, they are actually better than me because they are the ones day in and day out thinking about the problem they're working on. I find it exceedingly rewarding for my research and the good students, and many of them, actually would uh, surprise me with the way of looking at problems and actually make the research so much richer. MIT has a very diversified science and engineering uh, community. Almost everything you want to uh, figure out, and if you don't know it yourself, you can find somebody to ask questions. One of the strongest quality of MIT is the accessibility of the faculty and the fact that they really want to train the students as opposed to just close the door and do their research. I think that's one of the uh, reasons why MIT is a better school in engineering training student than many of the other leading schools. I look for students who are willing to learn, intelligent, and I actually don't put them in a template. I don't train them into a certain mode. 
I actually try to understand the students' preference and what their aspirations are, whether they want to be an engineer, an entrepreneur, or a uh, teacher. I would actually help them develop their goal. And to that extent, every interaction uh, with our graduate students is tailored towards his uh, personality, his or her personality, and his goals. I think I'm currently working on a research direction that I enjoy doing. I really enjoy having uh, the opportunity to do that at a place called MIT and the, uh, and the colleagues and students I'm able to work with. I think that's the most rewarding part of my life. I wouldn't exchange it for anything else. Mm -hmm.